Uh, we have Milani versus Yoshi 112. Uh, Milani has a 1048 PB, and Yoshi has a 11 minute PB, so only about 10 seconds apart there. Uh, looks like we're off right about now. And uh, yeah, so uh, relatively close PB, so I'm expecting close races today. Uh, should be a fun one. Good luck to both the runners here. Yeah. Uh, one thing of note, uh, as they get into the start here, both of these runners are playing on emulator. So, that obviously causes a bit of input delay. And while you do get used to it, I still think, even if you're a seasoned player on emulator, it still inhibits your ability to recover from mistakes a bit. Makes it harder to play, so that's one thing to note there. It also does run slightly slower than an actual SNES. Yeah, rolling through what I too no issue there. Yeah, and a good box jump there. Why? Pretty much perfectly out of less than a second of delay in sync, so very good view of this race right now. No issues here in Y3. There's always not much to talk about here in the earlier levels, so especially when you get uh, into this level of PB, where you're usually not going to really see any mistakes or any really big mistakes, maybe a half a second or so, but yeah, they're just gonna cruise through here without any issue. Oh, and as I say that, uh, looks like Milani took a bit of a stumble there in Y4, ran into a pipe. That'll cost the in-game second, but it does get fish jump, which is uh, makes up for it in swag points, which is the tiebreaker, of course. That'll get Yoshi, or that'll get Bomb. And yeah, that'll get Yoshi a slight lead there. Yoshi's also gonna go for a slightly more aggressive room one here, Nikki. Both are gonna miss the door though. And, uh, Yoshi's gonna gain about a second there over Milani in that room. goes for the slide jump there. Looks like he might have lost a little bit of time on it though. And then Milani. What's that? I actually want to choose this. Milani, sorry. Yeah, Milani uh, with the more standard two fireballs jump and the number two fireballs. An uh, optimal slide jump can save it like, about a third of a second. But um, it is a bit riskier and tougher to pull off there. Actually, don't quote me on that. I don't know how much it actually saves. Maybe somebody smart in the chat on that. Yeah, you should go in, into uh, DP1 here with a slight lead. Both gonna have a clean cape grab here. Unfortunately, off the Twitch player, can't really tell what their flight speed is going to be until we get to the end of the level. But, um, it looks like Yoshi does have a slightly faster speed here. He's going to get a 362. And Milani will get a 359. Would have been a 360, but he had the slightly left right there.
this one can be a real big level. Um, even just losing the shell too early in a race between people who are this close in skill can really make the difference. Good first two fish for both. Yeah, it looks like Milani is going to keep the shell all the way through, pull off a 256. Yoshi had a little bit of trouble keeping it through there, had to do a pretty hefty left right, going to get a 255. So Yoshi making up a little bit of ground there. Yoshi going to be going a little bit faster than number one. And then turn that gives him better blue ring, so a little bit faster than two as well. I'm just gonna get stuck on that piece of trick. But a very close race going in the star roll. Only about a five or six second difference between the two runners right here. Sorry about that there. Going with Star Wars 1. Very clean first slip for, Mil or for Yoshi, sorry. Milani is just going to go straight through no zips. Very good Star Wars 1 for Yoshi. 290 is near optimal there. Earl too. And not much to say here, just gonna swim right over. Maybe for people who made this game are a bit smarter, they could have actually made it tough, but you can just grab Yoshi and hold right. A little bit of trouble getting the key for both of them here. They get their edge. Overall, so far, Yoshi's just playing, playing a bit of a cleaner game here. Oh. Milani's gonna fall down back into the middle. Bottom half of Star Wars 3 there. Trying to get back up and get in that cloud there. It's gonna be tough to come back from, especially with how well Yoshi's been playing so far. At this point, it would take a death in Bowser. One hand rest full speed. <laughs> She's gonna miss, miss the tour fly. Uh, Queen Star Wars 4 there for Milani. We're going to be doing that fire swap on door 5, uh, the fastest of the 3, well, I guess I could say 4 strategies here, the second section of doors in Bowser. And a good door fly there for uh, Milani. I'm making through Dark Room unscathed. Can be, I think, just in an um, sub 11 piece. If a uh, kid could just pull off correctly, of course. Yeah, great dark room for Milan. Very good castle. Uh, 350 is very in time there. And Yoshi is going to get the instant there. Very good start to the fight for Yoshi.
Milani getting that insult in the first hit as well. Yeah, the fight started off pretty much perfect from both runners right here. And Yoshi's going to be going for the uh, no cape style ball skin. Both are pretty much equally as fast. Up, we're gonna jump before he gets P speed. Whoa. That's a recovery. I thought that was a really risky play, but he managed to actually pull off that hit despite the fact that he had to run back and take off and just kinda do it on plan. It's very impressive. Milani with an interesting setup there for that kill, but um, it's the hit, no problem. I've never seen it done like that before. Yeah, Yoshi's gonna come in with the last two and finish with an SRL time of 10 minutes and 52 seconds and take home race one, so GG. And Milan is going to finish up here. Oh, takes a hit there, but is going to get the last hit on Bowser pretty quick. And finish with an SRL time of 11.21. In two solid races, Yoshi was definitely the playing extremely well throughout, with only a few small minor mistakes. So yeah. We get things set up for the next race and get race two going here in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned.
looks like we are getting going here. Back into race two. So yeah, a bit more pressure on Milani this time to uh, take home the dub. Yoshi has that one nothing lead, so if Milani can't pull out the win here, he will be going to the loser's bracket. Uh, we can check here, actually, the challenge. Let's see. Let's gotta find this match on the bracket to see where they go. There it is. So the winner of this match will be facing up against the death. And, um... The loser of this will be facing up against Mike the Pwn Star in the uh, round two of the loser's bracket there. Yeah, we are um, just cruising through YI3 here. Yoshi's gonna get that 259, Milani is gonna come in with that 258. So a bit of separation there, but really only by frames. But Death, here's what I'm thinking, right? If you're racing, who's gonna restream? You know? It's kind of a problem. Also, it took me until now to notice that I had the chat just, like, not even at all loaded. Yeah, it's kind of a problem, but... Yeah, clean YF floors here. Both didn't come out with 275. Only way you can do better is with shell jump, which... For me personally, if I could even do a shell jump, I would not be going for them, because even the best of the players can die to them. It's not ideal. Yoshi again with that 281 room one. Gaining himself that second there. But otherwise, pretty uneventful room one for both runners. Uh, no big issues, pretty chill. It's kind of how you like to see it, but it makes the first three minutes kind of boring for the rest of us. I mix it up a little bit. And Yoshi again going for that slide kill. He's not going to be saving any time there. Uh, the only way slide kill can actually save time is if you can get it with only the fireballs. If you have to jump on them, then I think maybe you might be able to break even with that, but I assume that that actually loses time. Yeah. Death's entire channel, instead of just having his own gameplay, it's just the restream. And we just get somebody to, like, have their entire layout just be Death's stream. Once again, mirroring the last run, uh, 362 for Yoshi and 360 for Milani. So, well, it doesn't seem like much. Flight speed can add up pretty quickly. Yeah, I hope we can get somebody who's not in the stream, though. That would probably be for the best. Uh oh. Yoshi is going to take a hit going for that shell there. I was going to talk about the difference in their dry run strategy, but... That's going to be a pretty rough hit for Yoshi. 
considering how Milani played last time, it's going to be tough to come back from that. I think at this point, it's best to go back and get a cape. Me personally, if I'm past Ghost House, I'd probably keep going without a cape, but it's a personal decision, depending on how well you know the no-cape categories. Yeah, hitting that people is not ideal, especially when you lose that power up there. A very good Ghost House from Milani, though. 368 or it's almost perfect there. All things considered, Gustav is going very well for Yoshi as well. You're gonna get a 367. Solid run through there for the both of them. Yeah, just a second here. We'll hopefully be able to compare how far apart they are. Milani with that 619 fade. And Yoshi is going to be coming in with a 641. So Yoshi is down about 20 seconds heading to the star row here. Yeah, and Milani not going for the zips once again. So let's see if Yoshi can gain back a little bit here with a good star row one. Beautiful first sip, but a little bit of trouble aligning himself on the second one it means that he's pretty much just going to have to go straight down without a single sip in the uh, second area. Oh, and Milani gets the uh, key Yoshi double grab. Very fancy maneuver there. And this time, no issue with Star Row Fury. We get through there clean. So yeah, Milani has about a stage lead on Yoshi here, going into the end. Okay, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to jinx that, uh... Oh! Beautiful. Finally get to see it. Yoshi gets that backup cape for that door 5 and no swap. Beautiful strat. I love it. It's technically slower if you're not doing fire swap. But it's a beautiful looking strat. Milani with a clean door 2 fly. Gonna be grabbing that fire flower and just doing that swap there. But yeah, it's an amazing strat, you know. Unfortunately, we now know that it doesn't save time, but in a situation like this, it does. Since you would either have to go for door seven, which a lot of people don't like doing, or just do casual door five, which is slower than any other option, really. Alright, Milani heading into the Bowser fight with 9.06 on the clock. As long as he can pull off a clean cape kill, he's got this one in the bag and will be enough to match three, but anything can happen in the Bowser fight, as they say. Yeah, I was a little bit worried he might get caught on that one. Good phase one from Milani. Yeah, the same for Yoshi. And both of these runners are pretty confident with the Bowser fight and Cape Kill. 
so knock on wood, but I'm thinking Melania's got this one. Going if your balls get there. And Milani with the uh, non-traditional setup there on the, uh, what would that be? The second hit of round two. But hey, if it works, I'm not one to complain. And Yoshi getting that insta hit there. That insta is one that gives most people some trouble. I'd say that one and the first two round one are really tough. But yeah, Milani comes in with an 11 minute flat time. Gonna finish off that race strong. And we will be going on to a round three here. See a GG to both runners. And yeah, see how this goes. Let's let Yoshi finish up here. Not sure why he destroyed that Mecha Koopa there, but... He only needs one more hit to finish the fight. There you go. Alright, so we will be right back from the set of the third race here, though. Yes, stick, stick around, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, got a rubber match here. 1-1, one, one, win it takes all. It'll be fun. Alright. It looks like they're getting back into this one. Pretty quick here. Yeah, they're just ready to finish up these races, so... We will be getting go- Getting going here in a second. And we are off. I fixed my microphone issues. Uh, turns out the Discord defaults to my webcam mic, which is three feet away and pointing at the wall, which is why it sounded like I was talking into a microphone that was three feet away. Classic. But yeah, we are starting race three here. An exciting match. We've had two very close races here, and I expect to see a third. But we're gonna have some fun here. Yeah, now I've got that, uh... Got the good commentary going. But yeah, once again, winner of this plane, Def. And uh, 
to be determined match. Either way, whoever wins this, it's gonna be an exciting race between those two. Uh, both of these guys are very talented, and I think Milani is underrated by Seed. I'm assuming he worked on the run quite a bit. Just didn't get that PB in before seeding started. Because he's put up he's put up some fairly solid runs here. It's definitely making Yoshi sweat a little bit. gonna have a little bit of an issue getting through and he gets stuck in the water a couple of times that'll cost him about a second there yeah i know that feel though sometimes you just kind of forget especially when you're nervous about a race you kind of forget your muscle memory for a level that happens to me in y4 a lot actually and you'll just like make an air jump because you're overthinking it and it'll be like, that's not the way I go through the level, but it's gonna have to roll with it. Yeah, again. Deja vu. These runners are pretty consistent with their uh, World 1 series. They've come out pretty much exactly the same each time. I want to see if Yoshi can pull off the slide kill here. There we go. I probably spoiled it, but... Great slide kill there. That's going to net him off 241 on the clock, and it'll put him minus 0.4 against his PB. Didn't spoil it, that's good. Okay. That was the highlight of the race. I mean, we're all here to see slide kills and Iggy. I don't think anybody else really cares. You can all go home now. I mean, it's pretty much it for, <laughs> pretty much it for the race. But yeah, all joking aside, entering DP1 here, Yoshi's been pretty hot with that fast fly getting two 362s in a row let's see if he can pull it off a third time here oh, just not gonna quite get the flight speed he likes gonna be tied here with a 361 for both of them yeah once again going into DS1 Yoshi will have a couple seconds on Milani here but, as we've seen in both of the races, that can be made up or lost pretty quickly. But yeah, as I was going to say last time, these two approach drive them a little bit differently. Yoshi having some trouble with it, but he does pick up that shell. He's gonna lose him in about four seconds, so I'm gonna put Milani in the lead here. Milani has had some solid DS1s, though. But yeah, uh, Yoshi does the classical spin fly up to the uh, red shell in dry room, while Milani chooses to do a normal fly up there and then spin the shell, which, at least in an IL sense, it's technically a little bit faster, but um, it's really not going to make much of a difference RTH, it's just kind of how you prefer to do it. Really solid booth ring there for Yoshi. Making his way through this level with ease. And a 368 on the clock. I imagine that could have been a 369 if he had the uh, fast piece switch drop. A 
Yeah, these two are neck and neck. Like, they are about even heading to the Star World here. But yeah, as we've seen, Milani is going to just take the classic no zips, taking no major glitches to heart. No break in the game allowed. Gonna get that 284 in here. So good zips could help Yoshi get back in this. Fortunately, not gonna work out on the first zip. But he will get that second one. Which is arguably... Not, I wouldn't even say arguably. It is more important. It is a longer zip. That'll give Yoshi about a second over Milani. Gotta applaud Def. The restream sync. I literally cannot even tell if there is like a difference between the two. I guess perfect. Like, just look at the timers. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uneventful Star World 2, as you like to see. Star World 3 caused Yoshi a little bit of trouble. Sorry, not Yoshi, uh, Milani. A little bit of trouble last time, or in the first race. Mixing things up a little bit, but both of them are going to get through without issue there. And they are turning it into an extremely close race here. Entering Star World 4. It's races like these where it's little things like Fast Fly really matter. Yoshi comes in with a 272 there because Milani didn't have fast fly. So I'm gonna get a 270. Which is considering how little of a lead Yoshi has right now, that second really does mean a lot. Yoshi's gonna miss that door fly. Milani's gonna hit it without issue. That's gonna close the gap a little bit. Both coming in with that Fire Flower D boost. Yeah, Yoshi jumps really early into that spike. Yeah, Yoshi is only going to have about three seconds on Milani going into Cape Kill here. So, any mistake in the fight could lead to Milani winning. As long as Yoshi can pull it off clean, he has it in the back, but that's no guarantee. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna come down to how well they can execute here. Both gonna have a perfect phase one. But yeah. Even insta hits can matter in this. Uh, each insta hit is gonna save about half a second. So. The difference between one person getting instas and another person not getting instas is probably going to add up to about like a second and a half, excluding the fact that uh, a couple of the instas are like actually free. Oh man, Lonnie missing the ball skip there. Mecha Koopa just goes right past Bowser. That's going to lose him quite a bit of time there had to sit through an extra bowling ball cycle. And he loses a Mecha Koopa off to the left and one to Bowser's propeller. That's unfortunate, man. Barring something major happening right now, Yoshi's got this one in the bag. Yep, and there it is, folks. Yoshi coming in with a 10.54 on live split. 1058 on SRL. 
gonna take home match number three, take home the win. Going to be facing off against the one and only Def in round three. GG to both the runners. Very exciting race. Milan is just finishing up here. Hello? Uh, he's... Hello? Yeah, Hello? Oh, sorry, I had one of their streams on. It looks like they went into their own chat. I believe they're both from Brazil. I have to check their uh, speedrun.com profiles again. But yeah, that was a very exciting race. A lot of fun. Sorry about that. Yeah, they kept it close. Uh, Milani will still be in the tournament, going to be going down to the loser's bracket, and I honestly expect he'll have a lot of success there. Uh, put up three very good races. Definitely no slouch in the NMG category. And GG to both of them. Um, I'm, I have no idea if they're going to come in here for an interview. I kind of doubt it. But, uh, if they're up for it. Yeah, we have both of our uh, both of our upcoming racers. We got Mike and Def both here on the stream, or not on the stream, but in the chat. Yeah, other than that, uh, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap things up here for us. Got two matches later tonight at nine and ten o'clock EST. Uh, 9 p.m. we have myself versus B squared and at 10 p.m. we have Delta MX versus random effect Yeah, and then ooh, We have a couple good ones coming up on Friday as well. So make sure to tune in then We'll be back later tonight. I uh, hope you guys had fun in here But I think that's gonna wrap it up here, so I'm gonna hop out And I'll see you in an hour and a half